Hi everyone! Thank you so much for joining our AMA tonight. Zaki Season, hello po. Cornelius V, hello again. Thank you so much for being here. Navi, hello. How are you? Magandang gabi po. We have exciting guests for tonight and I hope you guys have prepared your questions because um, it's an exciting project actually. I have everything linked in the description box if you guys have questions. You can send them here. Hello, uh, RJ, kumusta po? Maraming salamat for being here. Crypto Bull, hello. Please help me share the live. Rowell, how are you? JM, thank you so much for being here. All right. So I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Again, as I've said, we have an exciting conversation ahead of us. So let us call in our guests. We have Sir John and Sir Edward. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hi. Good, good. How are you? Thanks for having me. Thank you so much here. for being here. I know you guys are busy, but I really appreciate it. And our community appreciates it too. So can you give us like a quick introduction of yourself and what you do in the project, your role in the project? Sure. Well, Sarah, you want to go first? Uh, okay. My name is Edward. I'm an International Business Development Director for Pendo Lab. And of course, uh, I've been with this project for a while and basically I'm in charge of all the international markets outside mm. of Singapore. So literally working with our country partners like our boss John, who is, uh, well, you injured, you, I'll pass it to him shortly. So yeah. basically we have around 18 countries right now under our Pando project. So I'm working with most of them. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, I see. Over. Great to meet you and great to have you here, Sir Edward. How about Bye -bye. you, Sir John? Oh, hi, everyone. My name is John Crispala, and I'm the uh, director for business of, um, development in the, in the Philippines. And uh, yeah, my background has been in finance and uh, real estate, and um, and I'm very bullish on the, in the crypto. Um, and so working with this project just brings a lot of excitement and um, I'm just happy to, to share our story and uh, you know give you guys an opportunity to learn about who we are and what we're trying to accomplish. Mm, I think those are great introductions of yourselves and I'm so excited to talk about the project today. So we have Pando Project. Can you give us an overview of what it is? Um, well, uh, basically what we are is uh, we you know, our, our main goal is to eliminate um, the lagging in the streaming industry. So we're looking mm -hmm. to revolutionize and how that streaming is being delivered. And we were able to establish a technology that can accomplish that in the decentralized platform within the blockchain. And, mm -hmm. uh, and we call it the Ramatron. Yeah, and we'll talk more about that later on. But what really piqued my interest in this one is the line stream relax and earn i think that just gives um such empowerment as well to uh to many investors looking for different kinds of pathways especially in the crypto market and it's a good integration of crypto and a good project so can you share us can you share more about what inspired the project and why is it called um uh pandasoft 
Was that right? I'll let you take this one. <laughs> okay. So, well, basically, coming to the name of Bandosov, we start with the name of Bando trees. If you actually mm. Google it, you'll find this Bando tree is, you can find in Utah, which is actually an aspen tree, but all the roots are interconnected and it forms a huge entity, a, a, a one big uh, organism. Ah, yeah, the Bando. So, from there, this is our inspiration that comes up with the Pando Soft itself, which mm -hmm. is we also call it the Pando. The whole project we call it the Pando Project itself. So, yeah. basically, um, let me explain a little bit how it, we started. So, basically, when we say relax, join, relax, and earn, in a way, um, everybody have a computer at home. Most of us have, mm -hmm. and most of us have a Wi-Fi, regardless um, in the workplace or at home. And we, because I've, I've been to Philippines quite often, I also, mm. you know, and also other countries. So I know most of us are the same. We normally purchase a package and then whether you use it or not, you still you have pay to pay for the it. package. Yeah. yeah. And if you use it 10 hours, you know, you still have to pay the same. You don't use it at all, you still have to pay the same. So mm. the concept is that we let our laptop um, do the earning in the sense that as long as you have a laptop, we have a Remetron that can install in your laptop. It doesn't affect anything at all. It doesn't touch any of the screen, any, any of the files. It just uses the access bandwidth that you are not using. Mm -hmm. So by doing that, you earn money. Either way, you earn from, but of course, from cryptocurrency. And yeah. we, yeah, as what uh, John has just um, explained, we actually created a ecosystem itself by itself so that we have the Remetron that functions like I, I like to call it the, like the mini servers mm -hmm. instead of having okay uh, backtrack a little bit most of the softwares nowadays runs on a centralized server so mm -hmm. what happened is that uh, I use let me use an example imagine you have you build a really, really nice bridge, five mm -hmm. lanes, all right, all across from one place to another. So normally, you know, the traffic flows is fine, but what if suddenly there's 100,000 cars coming at the same time? You will create a jam. Mm -hmm. So this is what is happening with the centralized server. So instead, what we are trying to do right now is we try to decentralize everything. So imagine this, now we have a million small bridges Oh, yeah. Yeah. So now when there's a 10,000, 100,000 car, no worries. Each of you have one car, I mean, one lane by itself. So it's all smooth sailing. So that is how we, well, in a way, provide a solution to have a streamless streaming. So that's one. Then, of course, we have the whole ecosystem where we mm. have our nodes, where we have our application, where we have cryptocurrency, so that the whole thing doesn't, it's not just a crypto project is mm -hmm. everything that you know is a is a what we call everything is interlinked and yeah I, yeah that is such not. a great explanation and in uh the first time i read through it i was a bit confused too as uh, i think some of our viewers uh mm -hmm. but aside from your um simple and easy to understand explanation sir john also has a great one about like uber drivers can you also share that with mm -hmm. the audience sir um, yeah, so basically, just like an Uber driver, right? They if they want to do work, they just turn on the app, and mm -hmm. that's how they generate their income. And so much the same, you know, approach. You know, with your laptop, you can actually convert that into a a, a, a node uh, to be a relayer of data. And so, just for turning on your computer, you can actually earn income, and uh, which truly makes it passive income yeah and all you really have to do is just download the application and you can put your computer to work whenever you want to turn it on so <clears throat> i think you already mentioned that this would only tap into your excess bandwidth and not your data so how can you right. assure the security of the data of users mm, okay i'm not trying to go into too much technical but uh, mm -hmm. in a blockchain world why we are putting in a blockchain in a blockchain everything is transparent you cannot hide anything in a blockchain environment. 
You can mm. you, you can see everything literally. In fact, we have an explorer, uh, we call Pando Explorer, where you can literally see every single transaction, every single like from the wallet to the Ramatron to our, our other nodes to all the transactions. So everything is transparent. So from that point of view, because our system is designed a way that we, of course, we tap into a little bit of the computing power because mm-hmm. as you say, server, we need to run a little bit on that. Plus, the main thing will be the access bandwidth. In fact, while I'm talking to you right now, I'm running my Ramatron on my laptop. And oh, I see. So it's just like when I'm not using it or, you know, when I stop using it, the priority goes to my work. But mm-hmm. when I'm not using it, then the Ramatron can then tap into the access bandwidth. So okay. It's a simple thing, actually. Yeah, and I think the word to highlight that there is that excess bandwidth only. So it won't be interrupting your workflow. It would be prioritizing your work. And then if you have some spare, um, Mm -hmm. that's what uh, it will get. So that's really good. Um, Now, can you share with us, like, what do you need, like, in terms of um, technical requirements. So you've already mentioned that you need a laptop or a PC and, of course, your Wi-Fi. So as for yeah. the technical requirements, what do you need? Uh, we actually have a slide uh, on the minimum requirement. Oh. Yeah, to make it simple, it's just a, just, you know, a standard laptop dated from 2012 to 2014, um, 4 to 48 gigs of RAM and at least 100 gigs of uh, storage. And... Um, and, and we operate from, you know, Windows, uh, you know, Mac, and uh, even like uh, Linux. Mm-hmm. And if you don't want to run it through your PC, we also have solutions for, you know, running it through a server, a cloud server. And uh, the, the specs on that is four cores, uh, at least eight to 16 gigs of RAM and 100 gigs of, of storage space. And that one operates on uh, Ubuntu V18. Now, as for how much does one need to start, like what do you need to buy something or how how exactly does it work? Well, you just have to download. You can download the application. It's It doesn't cost anything. And mm-hmm. um, you just have to, I mean, of course, to, to activate the, the application, uh, it's activated through the form of staking. And yeah, uh, yeah. and that's uh, 250 PTX, which is our native uh, token, our crypto token. And uh, right now, 250 PTX is equivalent of uh, 56 USD. And because uh, their price, currently the pricing is at 20, 20 cents per PTX. And so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But this would, of course, vary depending on the market price of PTX, correct? But it's always going to be 250. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm, you can I'm also so... take multiple of 250 if you want to. Like, uh, example, you can stake more than 250. For mm-hmm. some of our community, they say, you know, I want to stake uh, 1,000 PTX. More, yeah. Can I do that? Yes, of course, by all means. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and uh, one thing to take note here as well is that uh, PTX has a lot more utility aside from this one. So let's get straight into that. Um, we have a couple of the apps that you're also um, engaged in. And the first one is Pandojo. Can you give us an idea of what this is? What can we expect from this one? Um, what's that one? You want to take the lead? Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, sure. Basically, we currently we have five applications planned for the next mm. two years. So our first application is Pandojo. So yeah. basically, if you... Um, it's actually a streaming, uh, streaming apps, mm-hmm. live streaming apps. You can upload videos to the application, or you can do a live streaming straight away by just a button. So you can download oh, the app. convenient. Yeah. You can download the app straight itself, or you can go to uh, you can go is a web based as well. So you can access mm-hmm. it through your through your laptop or your computer if you want to, and you don't have to have any external devices or programs because everything is built in it's only oh, one device, I see. one button you just click and then you can go live stream straight away mm-hmm. yeah it's really also, convenient we, but yeah. what if for you, for, sorry oh, i'm sorry uh, for, <laughs> for example i do want to use like a third party like uh, uh-huh. obx oh, would yes. it be allowed 
Oh, uh, okay. yes, of course. We we have our own built-in OBS, but of course, like professional streamers, they have their own. Mm-hmm. So no no worries, you can integrate together. And and one interesting part is that other than the features itself, we also have a multi-angle camera where you can oh, have four yeah. streamers together, or you can have four different angles looking at you know at, at, at yourself, maybe one from afar, one with mm-hmm. the with, you know, with certain information you want to show or, you know, yeah. it depends on yourself. To keep it more engaging. That's great. That's a great feature. Mm-hmm. Now, um, here are like uh, a live streaming reinvented. These are your competitive advantages, correct? So can you talk more about these ones? Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, anybody can join with the click of a button. And just like what Boss Edward was saying, you know, you can go live and, you know, most streamers would use an OBS where you can just mm-hmm. do that just by downloading the app because it's already built from within. And for those that are content creators, you know, you can actually keep, you know, more profits or generate another way of having revenue because, you know, once you're monetized, you know, you're, you engage in contract where 30 to 50 percent of what you're generating is being carved out from the whole you know from the whole gross amount well through our platform you can actually use that as an external outlet you're already producing the same content but you have now you have another opportunity to generate more and keep more so you don't mm-hmm. necessarily have to ditch you know what you're currently using but you have more exposure basically yeah so it's it's a good option. I mean, having different uh, that kind of exposure and engagement in various platforms is always a good thing. So um, now this is a good question from John, uh, Noel Jean Tumang. Uh, you mentioned that anyone can join, correct? So will you also have like KYC system and will there be age restrictions? Uh, if you're talking about Ramatron itself, or you're talking about the, our application, the, the well, application, the application, uh, the apps itself right now is open to all. Oh, okay. Yeah. So in fact, we were saying, you know, one of our our one of our, our, our presenter always like to say, if you're a kid, if our children, some children is quite mm-hmm. creative. They want to have their own live streaming live show. Yeah. They can. Oh, or, it's inclusive. Regardless. Age. And and the, the interesting part is that this is not only cater for uh professional streamers. Example, mm-hmm. let's say I'm going to have a birthday party for my kids. I can do a live stream of the, the party itself. That's uh, fine. I mean, especially uh during this uh pandemic. pandemic so, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And let's say if I um I have a let's say I'm graduate. I have a graduation and you know mm-hmm. I want to live stream me going up to you know collect my 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 certificate or you know mm-hmm. the whole ceremony. I can also live stream that and I can live stream from different angle. Let's say one from the central stage, one behind mm-hmm. with seeing all the guests, you know, like I said, the multi-angle yeah. camera. So that that is the part that's making it you know interesting. Such a great application for it as well. And I love that you mentioned it like outside the usual content that we see, Mm -hmm. applying it to events as well, especially um, I think because of the pandemic, um, live streaming has been like on a different level. So and then you're you're taking it up uh, even higher. And and I love that about this project. And what's also uh, what also caught my eye is this 12 revenue model because you're also providing not only can they earn by the excess bandwidth or the ramatron so we've covered earlier but these models too there are so many badges marketplace sponsorship etc and mm. how did you come about this one um why did you add this to your app as well well because what we think is that an application should have all kind of ways where viewers, content creators, uh, our partners, our advertisers, all mm-hmm. can join the platform and utilize the platform for one way or another. Example, yeah. like a marketplace. You know, you can you can tap on our our apps and have the marketplace to example a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, streamers, you know, they have mm-hmm. their own products where they want to put in the marketplace or certain certain brands, they want to, you know, put it in. And 
it, nowadays there's a lot of live stream uh, live streamers that does selling online. Yeah. And, oh yes, that too. <laughs> online selling is very um yeah. prominent now. Yeah, absolutely. Then of course we have other things like the gift, the VIP status because when you download these apps it's free. But mm. of course we have the paid version where it's there's more features yes. that you can use. But all the payment, all the transactions is done in PTX. Oh, that's need- great. <laughs> yeah. So I think we'll why- also uh-huh. We'll dive deeper into these later. I think we have a a slide um, identifying all of the different utilities for this, but I love that you mentioned it already. Uh, Now, here's a great question from, I I hope I pronounced the name right, Huang Hai. How can you attract streamers on today's popular live streaming platforms? I think it's quite hard to reach. Mm, I do agree on that, which is why we need a good community to join us um mm-hmm. as of now we already have 160,000 uh, about 160,000 remetrons that already join us across wow. countries so with that and our country partners we have different country partners that is working with us together and mm-hmm. part of uh part of well everybody's job is to try to make this platform a little bit more exciting so not only the, well, this as this project comes from Singapore, no, we, it's difficult for us to look for streamers from other countries. So we yeah. rely on a lot on our country partners, and also there are other community that builds uh, certain businesses on top of our platform. Example, we we actually have a partner that has created a company that has uh, influencers. They already or, have the connection. Already have. Yeah. yeah, and they will join us together so that, mm-hmm. you know, there's more utilization. So, in a way, when it reaches a popularity, certain popularity, then more people will know about it. And the beauty of it, okay, another thing uh, in response to that question, you see, most of the application, they what they do is that they launch and then they market it to get users. Mm-hmm. The special part of our, our project is that we already have community, at least 160,000 community. Mm-hmm. So when we officially launch our application, rest assured, we will have at least 160,000 downloads. Yeah. Or I'll, I'll be asking friends, you know, maybe more than that, times two, times yes, three. Yes, word of mouth is uh, incredible yeah. too. But imagine this, if you go to the Google App Store or, you know, the Apple Store, and you see, wow, this is the new apps, but it has 160,000 downloads. What is that? That that will itself yeah. will attract you. Let's check it out. What it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this is what one of the special thing that we are doing right now. And I think having this kind of visibility as well, you guys coming in to answer community questions, that's also a huge part of the marketing. And I think um, with startups when they're starting. Um, mm-hmm it's nice to build these kinds of foundation where you really engage your community because it's easier to build or scale from there. Now, uh, here's one from Cornelius. He asked, um, I read you have an office in Cebu and other Asian countries. Cornelius, uh, he did his assignment. Uh, But are you available in non-Asian countries like Latin America where potential users are non-English speaking people? Uh, In fact, we do have a Brazil country office and for uh, European countries, we are still building our mm-hmm. community. But in terms of language selections, we have actually multiple languages available. Mm-hmm. So actually, it doesn't matter whether we have an office or not. Anybody can join yeah. regardless mm-hmm. where you are. You can have a Remetron if you, you are in Atlanta as long as you have a computer yeah. and a lab, I mean and the Wi-Fi. It doesn't matter. You don't have to have an office because you don't in nowadays, you know, like you know, with pandemic and everything, everything is done mm-hmm. online. So yeah. Well uh, regardless where you are, you can join us. Online support is uh, as we've yeah. seen, it's enough and it's already great at connecting so many people. So that's good. And um to add that you have the 
um, language options uh, in your website is also a good factor in it. So mm -hmm. I hope we answered your question, Cornelius. Thank you so much for sending your questions. Uh, by the way, I am listing down all of your names and then we'll be giving away. Um, Pando Project is generous enough to give away two Rametrons for you guys. So make sure to keep sending in your questions and keep engaging uh, with our guests. All right. So I think we stopped at um where do we start at pandojo correct so you also have yeah. other apps aside from this one so let's talk about those other apps okay so maybe just briefly we have our second application which is called tutor x and mm. tutor x in fact we designed tutor x before the pandemic and oh, the okay. interesting part is that it's actually meant for online well online tuition, online schooling, online yeah. trainings. And in fact, even right now, uh, in fact, Tutor X is already completed and we are we are working on refinement and all that. And we already have a number of community that is really interested in this. In fact, this is one of the apps that get gotten the most attention mm -hmm. uh, because a lot of people is looking into, okay, how, how, you know, like some, I, I know some of the, our community has approached certain universities to provide online courses. Mm -hmm. Certain courses can be free. Certain courses you might have to pay and you can have certification. And of course, the TutorX features itself, we have uh, a lot of, uh, how should I say, we combine a lot of the features from different, different softwares. Yeah. We look into it and make it interesting not not in the sense that i'm not saying you know don't get me wrong i'm really grateful for what we are having right now uh, even zoom mm -hmm. and all that you know because without that a lot of things we can't do during this pandemic time but mm -hmm. what we try to achieve with the tutor x is that we want to make it more interactive the, mm -hmm. the tutor can divide the student into different classes they can do yeah examination they can do grading they can do different different type of sharing they can do homeworks you know there's so many things a platform that... dedicated solely for uh absolutely. all aspects of online learning yeah absolutely absolutely mm -hmm. so this That's is a great one to the x and then we have another one is vixo vixo is going to be a an application with a very high security because we're running on blockchain so mm -hmm. in terms of privacy, you have an extremely high privacy setting on Vixo. And also it is uh, what we call, you can purchase live show tickets, which is linked with N NFT as well. Mm -hmm. So it's also a messaging app that combines together. It, it, sounds, it sounds a little bit confusing, but uh, basically it's a messaging app. It's a live show, uh, live show, ticketing apps and you can also live stream your live live show live shows oh it's so app. for concerts and concerts. for yeah mm -hmm. like, which which is like more on uh more catering for live show yeah online using your own well, equipment <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, if that makes sense oh that's a great way to showcase talents too but how is this different with um Pandojo? Can't we also stream there? Um, why why should we stream here um, and not there? Uh, this is more for this is more for concerts actually. Mm, it's targeted and for for concerts. Yeah, yeah, and also for uh, it, it initially it started as a chat software, mm -hmm. uh, a very secure chat software with link with our wallet, and then. Later on, our group added in the live shows with the NFT functions. So oh, okay. it's something a little bit new. And I, if I'm not mistaken, there is going to be a VR uh, integration as well. So that you can... Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, we're trying to get something exciting, you know, mm -hmm. integrate everything together. So when you go to a live concert, you have, let's say you have your VR glasses on, you will be feeling like, yeah, well, possibly I'm not saying that it's like metaverse, but you you'll be in mm -hmm. like in a concert environment, a live concert yeah. environment where you can see left and right. There are other people, and you can see straight away the live shows. So we're trying to make it interesting in that way. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. it is it sounds interesting and i'm uh i'm really curious on how you guys are going to develop this uh in the future so we've talked about three already and we have some more we have two more correct two more yeah and <clears throat> the other two will be for next year one mm. is show us and one is my yes. logo okay <clears throat> excuse me show us will be okay let me make it this way normally when we look for a job we use we normally type out a resume all yeah. right five pages ten pages and then we send and for the company that's going to receive the resume they're going to have maybe a hundred resume to go through so mm -hmm. they don't really a resume doesn't really tell a person or tell a recruiter how that person is until they beat that's why there's always interview but yeah very limited yeah the the part of this show us is like it it is a online is a is a live is a video resume mm. where actually for 30 seconds one minute you can actually record what you want to say example I just, you know, yeah. let's say i'm a magician so within that one minute i will you know i'll i'll, I'll introduce myself i'll do some mm -hmm. things and yeah. at the background you can see some of the features like how much I charge or my past project and all that kind of thing. So oh. imagine a recruiter in that sense. Example, let's say I'm going to have a party and I'm looking for a local magician to come. Mm -hmm. And I go through the apps, you is actually you can just see the video, short, short video. Oh, this one is nice. This one, oh, this one, this is what I want. Mm -hmm. So then you can just link them up so easily. So it's a video resume platform a kind of something special yeah we're trying to do to make it interesting it is it is really interesting i mean this is the first time out of how many um uh, platforms that i've studied and covered this is the first that i'm hearing of um this type of application for resumes like a video resume so that's really nice how do you plan on scaling this will you be tapping into companies or what's your strategy for this one well, actually, we want it to be able uh, to be used by almost everybody from big company, corporations, mm. to people just wanting to hire, for example, just like I said, a magician or clown, you know, yeah. or I want to have a wedding planner, then I can mm. scroll through, I want around my area, so I scroll through and there's maybe 10 and I look at 10 of the videos and I say, oh, I want this. So, of course, this is for the people who are looking for certain um, jobs or skills. Yeah. On the other hand, you, you as a person who is who want to show your talent can record the mm -hmm. video and post it up in, in that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about the other one, uh, Pandogo? Okay, Pandogo itself is we 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 want to say is actually a, a video platform in a sense that we want to target at a lot of local talents. You see, mm. um, I would say a lot of I my preference. I would say Southeast Asia countries. You know, like like Philippines, uh, Thailand. You know, a lot of mm. countries have a lot of local talents, and it's mm. amazing. Let's say Philippines. You know. I know a lot of you can sing so well. It's a you know it's out of the world. There's yeah. a lot of short videos that that should be out in the international arena. It should be out there, but mm -hmm. because of a lot of restrictions. Example, um, if you example you have a short video, you want to put it on Netflix or you want to put it on certain big platforms. There are certain contracts to be signed yeah. or certain level you have to reach. But grueling Bendigo, process. Ah, absolutely. But Pendogo is meant to make it simple so mm. that local talents can just, you know, upload whatever they whatever good things that they want to show. They mm. can just upload it regardless. Is you know, it, it can be it can be a, a talk show, it can be a short movie, it can be a real full movie or documentary, it can be anything yeah. that easily that we can help to link with a lot of local viewers as well as international. So this is what we meant to do, actually. So will you be incorporating um, sensors so that there are no violence and... Of course. Um, a certain... We will use uh, some algorithms on that as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's great to hear. And you know what I love about 
all of these apps basically they give accessibility they um they make the process easier more engaging and uh these are things that i would really look forward to when you guys are going to launch them so you said that show us and pandogo are for next year next year. so how about the first um three that we've covered when can we expect them to launch when can we use them pandojo is uh is undergoing beta testing right now because we have a mm-hmm. uh, different different uh, testers yeah and if I'm not mistaken, I'll be targeted at end of the month or early next month for Pandojo to launch. Wow, that's fast. <laughs> How about the other yeah. two? Uh, the next, uh, then TutorX will be on the next quarter mm-hmm. and Pixel will be on the last quarter. Big so that, year that for you guys. <laughs> You, so there are so many um, great goals that you guys have set uh, over the course of the year and for next year. But what do you say or what can you say are your main priorities for now? What are you focusing on? Um, well, right now we are looking at building our community because for mm-hmm. you know, when we mentioned Ramatron just now, we are looking at 1 million Ramatron across the world. Yeah. So we are looking into building our community of Ramatrons mm-hmm. so that more people can join in, join us, you know, use their computer, use their Wi-Fi, access bandwidth, earn money, and at the same time, you know, they could be part of all our activities. So of course Ramatron is one and then after that we'll be into the application. Yeah. So those are great priorities now. How about, um, can you also share with us like the barriers that you guys have encountered or you're uh, facing currently and um, your resolution plans for these? Because it can't just be like sunshine and rainbow. So can you share with us like the things that you had to deal with uh, in creating this one and making sure that it is the best product for people? Mm, well, we actually started three years ago when we is still in the concept, mm-hmm. uh, you know, on paper. So is the initial part is hard where you try to tell people what we are doing. And then yes. we are, we were recruiting our community based on a presentation, telling them that what we are going to do. So of course, at the beginning it's hard to start, but mm-hmm. once more and more people heard about it, they get excited about it. They, mm-hmm. they is more people join us by word of mouth. They see the potential, yeah. Yeah. And then <clears throat> also some, we do not want to want people to think that we are like a, another cryptocurrency company that looking mm-hmm. at Moonshot the token. We are looking into the whole ecosystem where the token is just part of it. Mm-hmm. So initially there are people who is looking into the token part, you know, the crypto yes. part of it. Yeah. So it took a while to let everybody understand that what we're trying to do is to kind of like integrate everything in one mm-hmm. where um, where everybody that likes certain thing can join in. Ex- example, people who's looking at want to earn some money using their computer, they can join as Ramatron. People who's looking into crypto and want to invest into crypto, of course, they, can. they are welcome to join as well. Mm-hmm. There are people who at the apps they say oh i would like to do some streaming i'm professional streamers you know by all means please join there are educators that's looking to like tutor x and say oh wow you know i want to do some online <clears throat> classes yeah. trainings you know they can join then plus like just now like advertisers like other b2b that can work together with us because the special part another special part about our project is that this platform can allow other application to come in and join us. Mm-hmm. Not our application. Example, there are There's other room apps. for integration, yeah. Correct. Uh, we always like to say uh, we, we build a highway, the highway is done. So mm-hmm. we have a lot of rest station. You want to come in with restaurant, you want to come in with hotel, yeah. you want to come in, yeah, feel free, you know, join us. And we'll mm-hmm. run on the same thing and we can solve lab together. So mm-hmm. that is part of what we are doing but this concept is a little bit special compared to many others so yeah it, it took us to, took us a while to mm-hmm. work out a lot of uh to make it better in a way yeah and, and as of now 
we already have our Remitron running. We already mm-hmm. have our apps uh, almost launched. We have our Explorer. We have, you know, a lot of things that people can see right now rather than just talk about it. So that, mm-hmm. that is the part where we are really happy to say that, you know, uh, this is it. And of course, mm-hmm. we are trying to get it better and better. And plus, we have our first exchanger coming in on uh, on the 14 14 tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow is our, our mm-hmm. first exchanger. No Albert. sleep for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours so, right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So... How about you, Sir John? I mean, um, Sir Edward already gave like a very impressive answer, but how about you? How do you think uh, will this project add value to what we have right now? And why do you think people should invest in this project despite the current market situation? Well, you know, coming from where I come from, you know, when you see a lot of these uh, blockchain startups, they don't have any utility and... Mm -hmm they usually have to get their investments they, they have to go out to the, the market just to get some some money in and then they make an investment in the utility mm-hmm. so what makes this so special is the fact that they've been spending the last three years on nothing but utility mm-hmm. and uh and so you know that one already has its main structure and so as far as the value goes i mean we have nothing but value to offer and we are just mm-hmm. now launching we have our own blockchain already in place most projects, they're still trying to get on a blockchain. Mm-hmm. And uh, and so we have the infrastructure. And so we just need to, um, you know, work more on expanding our Ramatron community so that way we can mm-hmm. continue to refine the streaming quality and make sure that it delivers uh, seamlessly. And um, and so that's what makes us, you know, very exciting. And especially with all the decentralized applications that we are getting ready to release and the ones that are to be produce within our platform yeah it just creates so much opportunities and the fact that you as a ramatron holder you get to be part of this whole thing because whether if you're just participating from one way just as a node holder or mm-hmm. maybe from an app perspective you know the whole ecosystem is all interconnected and yeah uh, yeah in one way shape or form you're actually part of that movement and yeah, I'm just that's why the name fits it. I right. mean, it's like um, one root, but there are just so uh, it it connects so many trees, or it, in this case, it connects so many individuals. That's what I, I love about it. Um, the name and concept they just really go well together. So now you mentioned um, investors, you call them as Ramatrons. So for the people watching this, whether it's live or on our replay, can you give us an idea on how they can be Ramatrons? Sure. They just have to download the application and uh, and then you activate it through staking. Mm-hmm. And so as long as, you know, when you turn on the, the Ramatron application, your, your node is actually generating income for you. So the minimum requirement is just being on the network for 40 hours per week. Yes. And uh, and you get to earn 10% per month, which is broken down into four week increments. So every single week you're going to earn two and a half percent. And uh, and that's, uh, you know, you can either earn it from a simple uh, interest perspective or you can do it from a compounding uh, interest perspective, because every single week you're going to earn your rewards just for turning it on. Yeah. And uh, and so you can either, you know, cash out your earnings, your rewards, or turning, exchange it for another, uh, exchange it for fiat or exchange it for another currency, uh, mm-hmm. do as you wish. But, you know, for the smarter investor, right, if you're thinking long term, like, hey, you know, I want to utilize the compounding effect. Compound staking. So you, yeah, you that's can, a. You can restake every single week. And so. The I rewards mean, so, get bigger, too. Right. So in this example, right, on the uh, what you have on the screen right now. So one Ramatron is 250 PTX you know, to mm-hmm. activate. So you can you can you can have as many Ramatron units as you are willing to invest. No limitation, but the minimum stake is just you know two fifty, and uh, yeah. and so that's equivalent to fifty six USD currently, and um, in in pesos that's roughly about a thousand pesos, mm-hmm. and uh, and so every single week when you receive that, um, if you were to compound, so even with this example, if, if even if you were just cashing this out, you're, you know, 
assuming that there's no movement from the price and it remains mm -hmm. at 20 cents you're already earning 100 percent yeah passive you know, earning at that for year just for turning on the computer mm -hmm. so but if you were to compound that i mean that changes the whole dynamic of your returns because that could you know pretty much go from you know 3x to you know or even higher and even mm -hmm. in the scenario of what if you know the price action goes up to one dollar so that oh wow merry christmas everyone right? <laughs> yeah <laughs> dynamic and mm. it truly is a, a a passive way of earning uh, mm. and you own that node so for me the way i view this is i view this as real estate because i come from real estate background yeah so it's really more of a question is how many of these digital properties would you like to have because yeah, you have the option of, you know, staking everything all in one node, but if you're mm -hmm. if you really want to play it smart, you know, what if you have, you know, you divide them in different places. You have a laptop in certain areas. So that yeah. way it's your property, your node that's delivering that data. Because when you're delivering the data, you're also earning. Which also brings it to the next point is uh, you know, you you've got the staking. So that's you have to be on for 40 hours per week, which is the mm -hmm. proof of network. And then the other way for you to generate income is through proof of engagement. And proof of engagement is delivering the work, is when, when your yeah. Ramadan actually engages in work. So just imagine if your next door neighbor is watching a movie and it just happens to be your Ramatron node that's relaying that data. Well, you get to earn, you know, just for doing that. And mm. you know. Right now, it's at the rate of 0 0.01875 PTX per 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. And so if your neighbor is watching five hours of streaming per day at the 20 cents pricing, you're going to earn 33.75 USD. And, mm -hmm. you know, if, if it were to be a dollar, hypothetically, that would be 168. Just, wow. Right. And so but if you're watching, you know, uh, Game of Thrones, you know, day in and day out for the whole entire seasons. That's like 24 hours per day. I mean, you can you can obviously see that could be like 162 at, at 20 cents and 810 if it were to be at a dollar. Mm -hmm. And that goes on top of your staking earnings. So this is proof of engagement. That's amazing. That's such a great explanation for uh, these three because uh, w when you initially look at them, they seem so um they're very intimidating like what's proof of engagement and i love how you guys just make it easy even the app it makes everything so much easier um that's why the, the as i've said the first time that i read through it i didn't really understand it but when i did i was like wow it's a really great project that i'm excited about now we actually have a couple of questions from our community i think they're as excited as i am so are you guys ready to answer their questions we'll do our best you guys can pick uh, as i've said uh to everyone sending in your questions they are generously giving away two Ramitrons for you guys. Uh, and then you can start uh, everything that we've covered earlier. So please do send in your questions. And then we have a wheel um, a wheel of names to spin here at the end of the AMA for you guys. So right now, we already have three. Noel, Huang Hai, and Cornelius. So we get to pick more questions. All right. Do you guys see any questions you'd like to answer? We don't see anything. Oh, in the comment area, or you guys can open up uh, YouTube and then go to our live stream. Just mute it. And then you can check it out there. So while you guys are looking for questions to answer, maybe I could help you pick. Um, all right. This is from Kivin. What are the benefits and key features that will encourage more investors to invest more? Well, basically, when it comes to uh, put aside the PTX and the crypto part of it, of course, mm -hmm. you know, we are looking at with the utilization, the, the prices will increase from 20 cents to more. All right. Mm -hmm. But uh, when it comes to earning, uh, a lot of the crypto company have different, we call it protocols. That's why it's a bit scary when you say proof of what, proof of what, you know, like mm -hmm. example, uh, a lot of people say, oh, what about mining? Mining is proof of work. 
It's yeah. another different type of protocol. So ours is the just now what uh, John has uh, explained, which is proof of uh, network, which is calculating the number of hours. Proof mm -hmm. of stake, depending the the amount that you stake in, is all depend on you. Like for myself, I mean, just I'm sharing purely from my own because I'm also mm -hmm. a community member. I'm yeah. staking. I stake. I started by staking five thousand PTX, and then every week. I'm, in fact, every Compound Monday. Compound staking, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really excited every Monday to see oh how much I'm earning. You know that I yeah. withdraw <laughs> my wallet and then I want to restake it. And then right now, I think we have been running for just a couple of months. I think I'm now mm -hmm. having six thousand plus in my staking, and it's, wow. it's, it's very exciting to see that every week, you know, the amounts grow larger and larger through compounding. So mm -hmm. that's the fun part for me. And then, of course, when our application start, started, then the proof of engagement will come in. And initially, I would, I would be, um, I mean, let's be fair. Initially, the number will not be very large for the proof mm -hmm. of engagement because we only have one application. But yeah. going along, we have second apps, third apps, fourth, fifth, and other. It will know, grow apps. along with the company. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. And then... As our Ramatron grows, one million of them all over the world, then you will see, you know, a lot of uh, pretty good earnings. Yeah. From, yeah. So that's where you'll see the, that's where you're, you'll appreciate the earnings that you have. Mm -hmm. And let's say, going back to my own real example, now mm. my staking is about 6,000 6, something PTX. And I started at 20 cents. And when it reached $1, I was like, whoo. <laughs> <laughs> so that's another thing to look forward to. Mm -hmm. That's a great answer. So here's another one from Zerbai. Thank you, Kevin, for um, sending that question. Here's another one. I think it's more on the technical side. So it's from Zerbai. In your specs, you mentioned we can use an old laptop or PC, but in your requirements, it says 100 gigabytes SSD. Does it mean we cannot join if we only have HDD? Actually, you can. It's just we prefer SSD because SSD is uh, much you know faster in a sense. Mm -hmm. So if you have HDD, you're still all right. Okay. No Thank you for that. Now, do you have um, questions you'd like to answer? There's one, here from, chosen? there's one here that I see from JP. Um, is there a limit to the Ramatrons that can be used per IP address or device? Uh, oh, great question. Yeah, that is a great question. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's one, one Ramatron uh, per one computer. Uh, however, you know, you can have multiple units of Ramatrons that you can acquire and you can stick it all in there. But if you are looking to have um, um, multiple nodes, then you can spread them out. So if you have, you know, five different laptops, uh, you can you can you can split that up amongst the five. And the benefits you get from that is the proof of engagement, because the proof of engagement will give them an opportunity to deliver data for each unit. But if you don't have the privilege of having multiple units, you can just take them all in one. But it will just be under one uh, Ramatron uh, IP address. Yeah. Mm, okay. Like mine, I only have one laptop, so I, I only have one. They're all device. in, yeah. <laughs> yeah. In one unit. In one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I Thank you so John much, would JP. Have a lot more units than mine. I know at the he has. <laughs> <laughs> he's ready for this. <laughs> Thank you so much, JP, for that question. Um, do you have any other questions that you would like to answer? <laughs> Nick Sachs says, what is this moolah? <laughs> That's one nice you. Is this is this your project only for elite investors? Oh no, absolutely not. You can start with one Remotron, which is like $56 to start with right now. Yeah. So you can start with literally $56. Mm -hmm. To any amount that you want to. Mm -hmm. So we are not say you know we are not giving the limitation that you must have at least certain funds. What mm -hmm. you can start with fifty six, no problem. Mm -hmm. All right, and um, how about this one from Thor NFTs? Do you have? Uh, sorry, not this one. Uh, actually, that is interesting. Oh, would you like well. to answer because, Naisu? All right, go. Yeah, because we actually have a proof of burn as well. We do have that to increase the token value. 
So the mm. answer is yes. So what proof kind of, of burn. burning mechanisms do you have? Um, well, we call it proof of burn. Uh, it yeah. sounds scary, but there's no... Mm. It, it does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of the other companies are having that as well, you know, like Ethereum and so on. So mm. it's just a protocol that the company is burning a certain amount of tokens uh, from our profit. So it doesn't affect other people. From our own profit, we are doing the burn uh, controlled in a controlled manner so that the token value can be can go up. Mm. So basically it's that. But well, in, in that part, you can find it in our white paper as well. Yeah. There's more details on that. Oh, yes. And I have uh, everything linked in the description box so you guys can check that out for more details. So here's one from Thor. After the downtrend market, does the project have any snowball plan for the token to develop quickly? And what is the direction of the project in the future to increase the value of the token? Thank you. Very, actually, it's a very good question. Um, mm -hmm. Basically, Number one, we have we, we are looking into increase the number of communities. So more people join us as Remotron. Then when our apps comes in, everything has to be the all every all the activities run. Of course, there's free version, you know, but a lot of activities from applic from ad advertising to uh, buy and sell in the marketplace to mm -hmm. joining as VIPs, everything you need PTX. So when there's more utilization going on. So the prices are expected to increase. Of course, we will have various activities to go along with it. Example, mm -hmm. we we actually planning to have a, uh, a global gaming online gaming competition that. We oh, will that's big! Esports tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Esports tournament. We are going to start that very soon mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. we launch. So with that, you we want to increase the number of people who know about apps, the people the users, and mm -hmm. so and so forth. So. The more utilization, the more the value of token will go up. But we are not looking into um, big changes, huge whales dumping or throwing yeah. away. We are doing it, building it gradually so mm -hmm. that the, the token maintain and increase along the time, along the way. That's a great perspective. I agree. I think that is better uh, making like a good solid foundation and making sure that it really has value. It has um, a lot of utility um, rather than just making it uh, having it pump and dump. So I think that's a that's a really good approach from your team. All right. I think um, do you guys want to answer more questions or do you want to invite them to your event tomorrow or in two hours? I think. <laughs> Uh, well, John, up to you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. yeah, keep an eye out on that. We're going to be going live on uh, on L Bank. So that's that's where you can catch us. And uh, it's going to go live on the 14th, I believe. What is that? The 2020 uh, UTC plus eight. So normally, I, because of the different, different time zone, I, I just tell everybody we start on the 15th. <laughs> 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 yeah just so to be sure yeah. yeah yeah i think we start the 15 yeah mm -hmm. all right yeah in fact if you so, go into l bank right now you'll see that uh it's called ptx bracket pendo token and in mm -hmm. fact they are actually advertising our token right now so um for everyone here who are watching this live um i would like to clarify that it's not available as of yet not yet. So because usually with these types of launches, there are fake tokens and people get scammed. So it's not available yet. Make sure to follow them, be a part of their community, engage in their Discord and their Telegram and Twitter to make sure that you get the correct information and the right contract address when it launches. So again, thank you so much for being here. Um, uh, we have... Can I just uh, add... Oh, yeah. Just yeah, sure. Go ahead. After we launch with our L Bank, we will be in a CMC, which is Coin Market Cap. Yeah. Which is then you'll see That's uh, our huge. PTX there. Mm. Uh, but uh, our token is called PTX Bracket Pendo Token. So this, so that. Uh, okay, and once yeah. it's available, to I can update our uh, links in the description box so they can come back in and check for more updates. I'll also uh, make sure to add that. Um, do you have any more that you'd like to share? Uh, that's very, but uh, anybody who is looking into 
getting the Remetron can also contact John. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, on Discord or is Telegram okay um, too? Which one you prefer, John? Um, you can find me on Twitter. Um, yeah, most people have been hitting me up from there. Uh, but we have a lot of our, our social media channel. Matter of fact, I believe uh, if you have the last uh, deck on there, that kind of has all of our, our handles. Uh, let me just um, They can take a snapshot of the picture and they can just uh, they can look us up from there. Uh, oh, here. The one with QR codes? Yep, the one with the QR codes. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Oops. <laughs> here, this one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let me just uh, maximize it. There yeah. we go. So you guys can take a snapshot of that, and then uh, you can uh, keep tabs on uh, all of our social media handle. And then for me personally, of course, I'll be engaging, uh, you know, with, you know, more in the, in the Philippine uh, areas. Uh, and so you guys are more than welcome to reach out to me. You can, you can find me uh, on Twitter and uh, that'd be a good place to start. Uh, if you guys have any questions and um, have technical, uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, trying to identify what, what it is that you're trying to accomplish with, you know, getting your Ramatron set up. So. And he doesn't bite. Don't worry, guys. He is very friendly. So you guys can, uh, if you have questions that we weren't able to answer for today, you can reach out to him. Also, he is Filipino. So pwedeng Tagalog. <laughs> <laughs> pwedeng Tagalog, guys. All oh, right. Yes, pwedeng, pwedeng. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> now, uh, don't go yet because I've listed everyone's, uh, everyone who sent in their questions. So we have this one. We have a wheel Whoa. of names to spin for our giveaway. So again, we have two nice. Ramatrons for you guys. By um, the way, before you guys, before we give anything away, you guys make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for Mulan because she's awesome, isn't she? Awesome, awesome. I, I really like you a lot, it. Sir John. Let's, <laughs> I, I hope you guys come back here. <laughs> You're my favorite now. <laughs> All right, so we have this. Uh, before we do spin it, how will they be able to get the rewards? They can get in contact with you, and then uh, and then once we identify who the winners are, we'll just make the arrangements from there. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'll just also update the uh, pin comment section to uh, give more instructions later on. Sure. So here, let's uh, spin this one. Oh, oh, I thought nice too. Was it Thor. <laughs> Congratulations, Thor. All right. So we have one more. Okay. So I think we have to remove him. Is he removed? Oh, yeah. Okay. So one more. They're requesting more giveaways. <laughs> more giveaways. <laughs> well, keep smashing that like button. <laughs> <laughs> Cornelius. Cornelius. Wow. Congratulations. <laughs> so we have Thor and Cornelius. Again, you guys won uh, one Ramatron each. Um, and then I'll update our pin comment section for uh, for the claiming of the prices. Let's go, Sir John. Let's go and do one more. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Lakas nyo naman pala sa kanila, guys. So we have one more Ramatron for giveaway. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I, I thought Cornelius was going to win again. <laughs> Ke Kevin, <laughs> congratulations. Congrats. All right. So, yeah, just uh, just keep tabs with uh, Mulan and uh, we'll, we'll, make, we'll make it work for you guys. And congratulations. Congratulations. And thank you so much for being here awesome. to all our uh, viewers, uh, whether, again, you're watching this live or through the replay. And our guest, Sir John and Sir Edward, thank you. Thank you very much. Pleasure. I hope you guys enjoyed today and I hope to see you uh, next time again here when you have more updates. All right. Thanks Thanks Mulan, I, like, I would like to have your link so that I can share with the other 160,000 of our community. Oh, wow. <laughs> Awesome. Yes, we'll yes. Sure. And <laughs> yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, I would love to have you here again, probably when the apps are here so we can also show them and guide them. So again, thank you. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you guys soon. Bye. Right. Bye, guys. Bye. Stay safe, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye.
All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining our AMA for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, Wang Hai said, why not me next time? I hope we can have uh, more Ramachans for giveaways. But again, congratulations to the three. Supposedly two, but um, I think they enjoyed and then they gave, they gave one more. So again, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, as Sir John said, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe. And uh, after this, after the live chat, I hope you could also comment down your main takeaways for the AMA so that we know um, your feedback and what we can continue working on to give you the best that you deserve. So again, thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. And I hope to see you on the next videos and AMA. Bye.